Thank you very much for having me here. No, thank you for coming. I'm flowing in from Sao Paulo to LA to watch a trailer and having a star introducing it. <laughs> what is so special about The Mummy? Well, I think when you look at historically, The Mummy in 1932 was the first blockbuster of Universal Pictures. And really, this is a film that, as a kid that I grew up, I watched those films, the classics I'm talking about, you know, with Karloff and mm -hmm. Lon Chaney. So to have the opportunity in this day and age to make this mummy was a real privilege for me and a real opportunity. This is the scale of the film, the adventure of this movie. It's really going to be a defining kind of film, and it's a very ambitious movie for modern monster films. Since interview with Vampire, you're far away from the horror yes. genre. Yeah. Uh, what took you so long to come back? Finding the right thing. I really love this genre. I wouldn't put this as horror. This is a suspense and adventure-based monster film. That definition of it is different than we kind of look at what horror is today. It's much more classic filmmaking, uh, romantic filmmaking. And when you look at these monsters, they're tragic characters. You feel for them. You also identify with them. And when you see Sofia Boutella as the mummy, there's something that is very exotic and romantic, and yet she's very powerful and can be incredibly terrifying in this character. And I was really excited to have this opportunity. You were known for doing your own stunts. Mm -hmm. And this one, the trailer, we had the zero gravity yes. on, on the plane. Yes. And how was to shoot that? <laughs> It's incredible. I've been thinking about this sequence for a long time, and I saw that they had a plane crash. I went to Alex in the studio, I said, we gotta shoot it this way. Shot on a film that does that parabolic arc and you have over 20 seconds of zero G. I like shooting things practically and mm -hmm. capturing it in that way. When, when we were able to do it, the studio looked at me, they were like, what? I said, no, no, I, I wanna build the set inside this airplane, and then the airplane is gonna do this parabolic arc. So we did the tests with my stunt team, and it really worked well, and then a Annabelle Wallace had to do it with me. She's never done stunts before. Luckily, she's a wonderful athlete. Then you're spending two days doing this parabolic arc. It is physically grueling. So when you see that in the trailer, it is practical and it is real. We can see on the trailer that London is very important. We don't have mummies in Brazil, so we can do that. But I would love to have a big movie like this to come to Rio, That'd to Sao wonderful. Paulo. I would love uh, that. What is missing to have a blockbuster like this to go and be set and shot in Brazil? The invitation, give me the city. When I'm shooting in a place, I love shooting outside of uh, the country in many different areas. I need to be able to really celebrate the culture and celebrate the landscapes. So when I'm doing different action like a mission, it's being able to shut down large parts of a city and allowing me to do some pretty extreme mm -hmm. things in that. And I would love, love to shoot in Brazil. If you give me the city and let me do some wild stuff, I'd, I would love to do that. I'll I've been there many, many times, you uh -huh. know, it's uh, an incredible country. I'll spread the word there. Yeah, please, please do that, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much no, for your time, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I saw her. She is real. <laughs>